In this video, let's learn about pseudophakia. The term fakia deals with lens. So, let's learn about fakia, pseudophakia and aphakia. Fakia is the condition of the presence of natural lens in the eyes. Aphakia means absence. That is A meaning absence of the crystalline lens from the eyes. And pseudophakia. As we know, in the medical terminology, pseudo means false. Hence, here there is a presence of a fake or false lens in ophthalmology we call as artificial lens. So this condition is known as pseudophakia. The presence of an artificial lens is nothing but pseudophakia. Pseudophakia is a condition where aphakia is corrected with an implantation of an intraocular lens that is an artificial lens and this condition is referred to as pseudophakia. Pseudophakia is also known as artifakia because of the implantation of an artificial lens. An intraocular lens is a lens implanted in eye which is used to treat cataract or aphakic eye. The most common IOL for cataract is known as pseudophakic IOL. This works by replacing the crystalline lens which has been clouded over by cataract. So the eye in which the cataract is formed, here the crystalline lens is replaced with the intraocular lens. So this is called as pseudophakic IOL. Calculation of the IOL power. The power of an intraocular lens to be implanted is calculated by taking in consideration the keratometric reading and the axial length of the eye. So this is the formula. The most common formula for calculation of IOL power is based on SRK. That is the Sanders, Red Slav and Kraft. So this is the SRK formula. P is equals to a minus 2.5 L minus 0.9 K in which the P stands for power of the implanted intraocular lens, A stands for constant specific for each lens and L stands for axial length of the eyeball and K stands for average keratometry in diopters. So remember this formula P is equals to A minus 2.5 L minus 0.9 K. This is the SRK formula which is used to know the power of IOL. Coming to the refractive status of the pseudophakic eye. It can be emetropia, consecutive myopia, consecutive hypermetropia or astigmatism. Coming to emetropia. Emetropia is produced when the power of the IOL implanted is exact. It is the most ideal situation. Emetropia means true power. In this Patients require plus glasses for near vision. Emetropic eye or emetropia means normal vision. Here the light rays focus directly on the sensory retina. Consecutive myopia. It occurs when the eye oil implanted over corrects the refraction of eye. And such patients require glasses to correct the myopia for distant vision. And may or may not need glasses for distance vision and additional plus 2 to plus 3 diameter of near vision. So this is the consecutive myopia. Here the image is formed in front of the sensory retina. Consecutive hypermetropia. It develops when the underpower IOL is implanted. Such patients require plus glasses for distance vision and additional plus 2 to plus 3 diopters for near vision. As you can see, the light part is formed behind the sensory retina. We see varying degree of surgery induced astigmatism in cases of pseudophakia. So what are the signs of pseudophakia or what are the signs that we can say the patient is on artificial lens? Surgical limbal scars may be seen. The anterior chamber is slightly deeper than the normal. Mild iridogenesis of the iris may be demonstrated and the Purkinje image test shows four images. The signs of pseudophakia are very important in the clinical point of view. The pseudophakic pupil is black in color but when the light is thrown in the pupillary area, shining reflexes are absorbed. Remember this point? When the eye is examined under a magnification after dilating the pupil, the presence of eye oval is confirmed. Visual status and refraction will vary depending upon the power of eye oval implanted. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel.